So where can down payment funds come from? It's a great question again. I mean, it's so down payment funds for the most part, the, the two biggest things I tell people is family is fine. Family is fine. Or you're sa- checking savings, 401ks, retirement accounts, and family. Now, in certain cases, you can get one from your employer. doesn't happen too often. Um, but it has to be money, sa- money or money saved over a 60-day period, over a two-month period. It cannot come from credit cards, cash advances, people you're not related to, just strangers. Sellers cannot contribute towards the down payment. That's a big no-no. That was so, my next question. Yes. So sellers cannot contribute. And um, a big thing that drives people probably, Sophie, the absolute craziest is the depth of verifying the funds to close. So the the length that we go to as an industry, the mortgage banking industry, to verify where the money came from, it's it drives people crazy. So it has to be verified. You want to follow the advice of the loan officer who's directing you, but it's pretty intense. So if I were the type of person who saved a big chunk of my pay in a box at home, I would not be able to use those funds. It's absolutely correct because the problem with the problem with that method, which is so you saved up money or you withdrew money from your bank account and you put it in a shoebox at home and you got cash. Mm-hmm. The problem is you cannot prove where cash came from. A lot of the rules and guidelines we follow today were born from the mortgage crisis back in 2007, 8, 9, 10. So from that experience, what they found was a lot of sellers. It used to be before that time, I would say to a buyer, you need $3,000 to come to the table and just get a cashier's check at the bank. It doesn't really matter where it came from. Where it came from. So what they discovered was a lot of sellers were giving money back to the buyers to put down, which meant the buyer really had no vested interest. They didn't really come up with anything. So in a very roundabout way, the buyer was coming to the table with nothing. Mm-hmm. Of course, the mortgage crisis happened. They overhauled all of our rules and guidelines. So now we have to verify where that money comes from. In cash, you cannot prove the source of it. I've had people say, but it's my work, it's my job, it's my friend. You can't really prove that. So money in a shoebox at home is not acceptable. Be real careful with depositing cash into your bank account. 